squeeze up, big hug again, but tap, open, tap, open. Because we use those muscles slightly back. And now we are coming on the mat. Again, I'm taking out my hiding mat. So we are staying edge of the mat, so mat in front of us. Okay, we all ready, let's start. Hands on the cloud in front of your legs and sliding down, more down, more down, trying to reach mat. So one hand, other hand, walk, walk, walk to plank. So both knees, put on the mat and feet flat and bring hands under your shoulders, cat. Tucking under the pelvis, double chin. Breathe in, breathe out, extended cat. Again, tuck under pelvis, double chin. Breathe out, extended cat. Last one, tuck under cat. And extended cat. Coming back to neutral, now we are trying to stretch, articulate spine. Can you do a figure eight with your spine, with all your body? So how we will do, first shift to the right, then left. Think about figure eight starting from left and lean forward and other side and go back to opposite knee, then other knee, come back to left again. Leaning forward a little bit, moving to the right and then side, then back left knee and to the right and then coming back to same direction. So you're visiting your hands, knees, and moving. Just imagine figure eight. So left, moving forward to the right, slightly back, then to the left, with your pelvis, bottom of eight, and forward again. Now, can you do reverse figure eight? So to the right and moving to the left and back and to the right knee, come back to left knee, go back to right again, hand and left and to the right knee, to the left, come back forward and to the right hand. So enjoyable movement for the spine, hip, pelvis. If you can do a full figure eight, because you're tilting, moving all your vertebrae. And come back to center, hunching again. Let's sit on the heels, child pose, couple of seconds. Come back to four point kneeling again. So hands on side of your mat, slightly will be wide. Knees hip width apart and then bending your elbows parallel back. Small gentle push ups for beginners. <sighs> down, breathing up. You don't need to go down too much, just listen to your body, shoulders, joints, less bending knee and then up. Slightly squeezing shoulder blades and up. One more, up again, last one, and then up, hunching again, spine, sit back on the heels. Now come back to mat again, sit on the side, and grab those weights, little ones or slightly bigger ones, I will use little heavier Two and a half kilo for my chest. Get those tight muscles in front, pectorals, is chest and shoulders connecting each other with those muscles. And so safely, you can roll on the side and then on the back. And I need my cushion. So you know who needs cushion? 
put your cushion under your head. So your head shouldn't go back, shouldn't tilt too much. So four, correct alignment. And then those dumbbells, feet hip width apart. Lower back slightly arching with this one because we want to lift a little bit, little bit chest up. So with a slightly gap under back of your rib cage and till your lower back, but not big gap. Yeah, we want always safety. And arms up to ceiling, hands together. Now opening to the uh, side to side, bending elbows. Up, hold again. This is fly again. We done this in standing, but on the mat is different. So little bit your chest up. So because you're using your chest to activate, big wide open, bending elbows, elbows parallel to the floor. So without touching floor, opening side. Hovering on the floor. Tummy tense in. <sighs> open. In. Five open. And in. Four open. In. Three more. In. All this should be set like 10 repetition, maybe three sets, but will take too much time. We have only one hour. <sighs> Open, and in. <sighs> open, and in. Last open. In and holding. So maintain that little gap from your back of ribcage to lower back. Slow open now. Three, two, one. Bending elbow hovering. Slow up. Squeeze chest and up. It's same how, how, uh, when we do in standing. Squeezing chest, same squeezing chest together, squeezing and opening elbows. So not your hands, not arms, squeezing chest. Lifting and bringing together. Side wide open, hover. Come back in center. One more open. Come back in center. Now palms facing forward. Raise your knees. That line. Arms, hands, same line. Now we breathe out in this position. Open elbows side to side. Squeeze chest. Push up again. Breathe out. <clears throat> Bending. Breathing up again. Deep. <clears throat> breathe out. Breathing up again. Sorry, something happened to my throat. Open again. Push up again. Squeeze chest open. Come back in. So your shoulder blades stabilizing your chest. Breathe out open. Breathe in, push up. <sighs> open. I used to do this with 30, 35 kilo before lockdown, but now I don't think I lost all my strength. Lockdown ruined us. Bending in. Push up again. Breathe out down. Breathing up. Three more. If you remember this at home, only do it to fly and this one, try to do with weights. Your posture will improve more. You will notice that. And a last. And then up, bring hands together, bending elbows lower safely, and leave those dumbbells on the side. And arms T shaped, palms up. Now lower back will be in print, feet, knees together, drop to the left, knees and pelvis, head opposite. Come back to center, drop other side, head opposite again. Squeeze knees together, 
you will feel stretch more side of your body. So, so we done good thing for posture. Now what we need in lockdown, what we do more? Sitting. That's why we will roll to the side and we will use those glutes because we are sitting on them. They are most, I guess, vulnerable and weak part of our body because of lockdown. Again, on four point kneeling. So hands under your shoulders. So what we will use core as well, of course, core always in moving in Pilates in every exercise. So knees, hip width apart. So first, left hand slightly forward, lifting without changing shape of your body. Lower tap. Lift hold, side open, forward again, side open hold. Now that hand, the left hand, from shoulder, lift slightly, look left hand, come back again on the side, lift again, lift up, come back to center, last to left, come back to center, lower that hand. Now tell me, tense again, right hand, slightly forward, to up, lower, so without shifting to the left, stay in center. Lift, lower. Lift, hold, now to the right. In front. Right, open. In front. Tense core, right, hold. Lift from shoulder, look right hand. Corner of your eye. Center, lower. Right again, up. Center. Last, right up. And lower. Now, left hand. Behind of the, or side of the head. I said wrong, cannot be behind. That will be so weird for the uh, spine. So side of the hand, head, left hand. Now we breathe out. You twisting to the right elbow and twist to the left. Teeny tiny lift your left elbow to the left. Come back again, like tapping your right elbow. And then lift, slightly lift. Come back, twist in, tap right elbow. And then back, lift. Hard, but spine needs that. And up, and back, go back to center. Now right hand, side of the head. So first elbow open. Now right elbow, towards left elbow. Tap and open side look right side corner of your arm come back again tap open and side one more tap open side last one tap open side and then lower hand do cat and extend the cat cat again Extended cat. Come back to neutral. Now glutes. Keep knees heavy on the floor without shifting anywhere. Only left knee in that position. Side lift, squeeze glutes. Lower tap. <sighs> Open. Lower tap. So you're lowering your knee, your foot as well. Lift open. Lower tap. Lift side, lower tap. Breathe out, breathe in. One more. Come back in, same leg. Back hip line. Keep head spine up. Lift, squeeze, glutes, lower. Up, squeeze, lower. <sighs> up, lower. Three, lower. Two, lower. One more, lower. Up, hold, bending knee, hunching slightly, long leg back again. Bending in, hunching, long back, crunching core more instead of too much hunching. Yeah? More engaging 
you could fill with crunch. And a last and lower slide back in. Now right knee. Knees hip width apart. Always alignment to stay in good balance. Side open. Come back in. <sighs> open. Come back in. Three. In. Two. In. One more. In. Last. And then in. Same leg back. Lift, squeeze, glutes. Tap. <sighs> up. Tap. Two up. Tap. Core tensing in. Tap. Up hold. Now bending in. Crunch core. And long leg. Slightly looking at your knee. Long back. In again. Long back. In again. Last back. Lower that leg. Slide in. Knees wider. Feet together. Hunching. Sit back on the heels. You can make fist and flex in your fist, stretch top of your wrist. I know wrist doesn't like too much staying on them, but we are strengthening them this way as well. Because bones, when you're putting pressure, they are strengthening. And then slide back here. So you can shake your wrist, you can clasp your hands, elbows together, circling your elbows, not elbows, they are your wrists. And this is so nice as well for the wrist stretching. And then, can we do one more last thing for full back of the body, your glutes, hamstring, your spine. Then we will stretch. So I will turn to this side. I will keep gentle here for beginners. We always do less everything, less repetition, less lifting, less moving. But we need to challenge sometimes. Sitting upright, chest will be forward because I squeeze my shoulder blades and hands back parallel to each other. If I open them, too wide on the side, I cannot move anything. My bum will not lift. It's already heavy. So hands on the back. You can target your mat. Maybe side of the mat, one hand, and other side, other hand. Even maybe they are more closer hands because the mat's a bit more wider sometimes. So now little bit, not much, even if you lift couple of inches, bum up, go back, tap, <sighs> up, go back, tap, so up to you, keep core in, you can lift, less, then knees a little bit forward, lift, bum more, go back, tap again, so deep, breathe out again, less, or more, all up to you, Looking slightly forward without dropping head too much back. Can be same line with your spine, but not much dropping back. Or not much double chin. And back. So now hands side to side pointing. So each time we're using different muscles on the arms, but already your spine, all your body, you're using full back of your body. Again, couple of inches. Deep breathe out. So that when you're lifting your pelvis, you will know how far should be your hands from each other. And then if you're happy, more lifting. Knees a little bit forward. So my knees feet coming same line. And lifting my bum. Squeezing and lifting. If I don't squeeze my bum, I will be like that. <sighs> up, tummy in, slowly go back, so can we try one more, your fingers towards your pelvis, so already we are not forcing, we do less, 
or more up to you. But with this one, we are a little bit more leaning back because we need more space for this. So slightly leaning back, bending elbows. And then keep elbows back and parallel. Then lift pelvis. Now arms will be straight. And sit back. <sighs> up. So you're using with this one, fingers pointing your bum, triceps activating more. <sighs> up. That's why we are changing shape of the hands to use different muscles. Or more, knees forward, knees, feet, same line. Then bum up, squeeze, glutes. And then back. Let's do one and last. <sighs> you can hold as much as you can. That's the beneficial part. And then back, back, back. Cross your legs. You will feel because all arms, shoulders, big hug, shrink up, and forward hunch it, uprighting up. Deep breathe out, breathing up. Other arm, big open, big hug, shrink up, drop, and hunching forward, uprighting up. One more hunching, uprighting up. Last hunching. And upright, both arms up again, bending one elbow, holding top of elbow, and side. Then if sitting cross is not for you, then sit in long throw. One or the other, or sit on the cushion. Now other elbow, bending, and side. Center. Side again. Center, arms, <clears throat> side to side. Sitting upright again, or sit on the cushion always. I say that, right arm up. Right pelvis pressed down, right hand reaching up, then to the left. And then that right arm, swinging in front. And to the right, put on the floor. Left arm up, reaching up. Left bum heavy. Now right elbow slightly bending and to the right. Now that left hand, left hand in front, swinging with your arm. Now lift other arm. Now we will do a little bit more quicker. And up. And go back to legs again. Circle down forward, lower hand, lift other hand, lift up, circle. One more this side, lift up, circle. Now other hand, lift, side, and circle, and a lower. Lift again, side again, circle. Now let's do non-stop with both arms. Lifting, lowering, circling. Lifting, lowering, circling. One arm dropping, one arm lifting. Lift, drop, circle. So nice for the spine and arms. And a lower. Now we are coming on the knees. So again, you can put cushion under your knees if knees not happy. And staying on the knees for a little bit in front. Legs, thighs opening. Then shifting to the right, left leg forward. Again, knee, heel, same line. And upright. And everything forward, leaning. Really small movement. Breathe in, go back. Deep breathe out forward. Breathe in back. Last forward. And then back, pull back in that knee, other one. So knee, heel, same line. And slightly forward. Come back in. <sighs> forward. Come back in. Last one, always one side in front, hip flexor, more tighter. 
come back. Now back foot, flex your toes, hold that forward knee, lift yourself and all the way up. And legs will be wider, pointing out. Both arms are clasping. Eye vision, not too back. Yeah? Eye vision, then pushing out. Tummy in. Lengthening all your arms, spine to the left, towards the left knee or shin bones. I will keep towards my knees today because I feel a little bit stiff my lower back. And then lift and hold. In no point to force if you feel stiff. My knee or shin bones and another side and then up. If I was feeling good, I would do towards my ankles. And other side and then up. One more to the right. Right knee, tummy in and swing other side and up right. Now holding your elbows, side twist, other side, so small twist, and other side, one more each, and a last, and a center, side flex, other side flex, one more each, and a last, and center now rolling down hunching elbows moving more forward forward and elbows heavy hanging you can bend your knees more inner thighs opening still holding your elbows now can you move on the right foot slightly shift move to the left foot move to the right foot bending knee more to move and shift side and other side side other side come back to center rolling up keep elbows down 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 all the way up and then arms heavy down by your side feet on the hip width apart tummy in again bending your knees and bouncing on the joints calf keys joints And then arms, bouncing and twisting, deep breathe out, breathe in, naturally, all breathe in, breathe out, just breathe in, that's more important. We keep saying breathe in here, breathe out there, but actually main thing, just breathe in, never hold your breath. And then come back to center and upright. Big lifting shoulders, drop. One more up, drop. Ear to shoulder, center. Other shoulder, center. Look left, look right. Lift again, lower again. Last up and lower. And happy day for everyone. See you next week.